All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to set up some SSH keys so we can log into a Pi or whatnot without without having to use a uh, password. So what we are going to do is we're just going to start off by installing Putty Tools. And we can do that by the following. And I already have it installed. And I'll throw a link on the in the description to my website for this stuff. So next thing we're going to do is make a directory for SSH. So that's dot SSH. And uh, more than likely, you might already have this directory, but uh, I went ahead and deleted mine for the purpose of this video. Okay, so now that we made it, <clears throat> let's CD into it. We'll go ahead and clear that. Then we are going to touch authorized keys. So we can go ahead and type this in and make sure we have everything spelled right so now if we do an ls we already have our uh, file here <clears throat> so now we need to set some permissions so we are going to do chmod 700 and we got the little curly Q thing and enter then we can do another CH mod 600 same thing here and this is for the file that we made okay so now we can go ahead and clear that guy so now we need to create a new key pair. So we can do that by making sure that we're still SSH, I mean, uh, CD into the SSH directory. Then we are going to do a SSH key gen. <clears throat> and that's going to create our key. And uh, we can save this wherever you feel, but we'll just run the default. And if you want to paraphrase or not, we're just going to bypass that. Just hit enter. All right. So now that we have our key, what we can do is clear that. Do a cat id dot pib pub. Then we can. Type in that. And since we have uh, putty tools installed, we can do a putty gen id dash zero, I mean o id dot ppk. So now if we do an LS, we'll have uh, three files here and obviously in that folder. <clears throat> so now what we can do is we need to copy these three things into a safe location. You know, now we can do that and we can do that by using uh, when SCP if you're using Windows. So what we can do is let me go ahead and delete this stuff here. So now I'm on my desktop over here on the Pi and this is my uh, uh, computer here that we're using. So what we can go ahead and do is we could just move these to the desktop so we can just 
type in. But I think we might be able to do it if we do that. Forward slash home pie desktop. So now if we look that moved them guys. So now if we just do a refresh, there we go. We have them. So now we can just drag them over to whatever folder you want to save them on your computer. And that's it. We don't we no longer need that win SCP. So now so now that we have our putty up, I have a new uh, window here. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and type in the IP address of the Pi that we want to log into using these new keys. Then we can go down here under uh, connection, under SSH, click on that guy. We're going to do a browse. Then we're going to select the following PPK file, wherever we saved it at. Click enter. Then we're going to go back up here to our session. Then we're just going to name this. We'll just name it 2021. And we'll just put a dash 178 for the last three of the IP but this is just temporary for me we'll click save so there we go so now that we have that if we click highlight that guy click open type in the username of your uh, pi and there we go no password needed so hopefully this kind of helps out like I said, I'll throw a link in the description for these commands to my uh, website for it. And uh, hopefully this helps you out. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one. And don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe.